Good morning guys and welcome to uh, another edition of Wild Times. We've got a bit of an interesting thing going on today. We've got a lot of bees coming in and out of the uh, bee hotels that we set up a little while back. So this is what's great this time of year you get to see things like this. Things you don't see all year round that just sort of happen for a brief period of time. Look at that. So yeah, we've got the basic going on here. The bees are going in. They're, lay, they're building up their little tunnels with like mud and slag, whatever else they use to sort of build the chambers. They'll make a little chamber and then they'll lay an egg. Then they'll seal that chamber and sometimes they'll, in the next bit of section of the chamber, they'll lay another egg, seal that. And then they'll put like a harder sealed wall around the end, entrance of the tunnel and then they'll just leave it. And a year later, bees turn up. So obviously the bees will spend all year growing in that little chamber they'll be eating a lot of the stuff that the because i think the bees they leave like food inside there for them and that and yeah so that's what's going on at the minute and then they sit up and then a year later up emerge the bees but as you can see it's getting quite busy because now we're in it's like the 11th of may 12th of may today double check the calendar and we're seeing a lot going on So the bees are coming in and out. There's quite a lot of them coming in. They've got maybe like mason bees. Might get some leaf cut bees. I haven't seen any yet though. But there's a fair few of them, isn't there? Look at that. So yeah, they're sort of laying their eggs in the chambers, in and out, bringing like food parcels in, I suppose, as well. There's a fair few of them now. See, I love this thing. I love to stand here and watch these. I mean, obviously, it is possible to get stung by them. But as long as I stay still and I don't bother them and don't wiggle around too much, it shouldn't be a problem. Oh, how beautiful is that? And this is happening because I've put something up in my garden. This is happening because I've changed something in the area that's attracting them. So I wouldn't have this if I hadn't done this. So, the whole, if you build it, they will come, there's your evidence. If you want something to see more nature in your garden, do a little something. It's not much of an effort. I mean, I bought those from Poundland. I think they're literally like three quid each, I think, from Poundland. I know it's Poundland, but they do charge a few more pounds for certain things. I think the uh, blue one's like three pound each at Poundland. So, not expensive. You just screw them into the wall. Try and get them so they're facing where the sun comes up of a morning. Um, and that, there you go. So the sun obviously rises. It hit, instantly hits the house. It stays on it for quite a part of the day. I mean, it's now like 11 o'clock. So it's been up there all morning. The sun's been on this all morning. Obviously, a good thing as well is because this shed here is quite dark. It probably absorbs a lot of heat as well and keeps them warm for a while. I know the shed stays quite warm inside for um, a good couple of hours after the sun disappears. So I'll go in there sometimes in the evening, it still feels quite warm, which is really good. Let's see if I can zoom in on that little bit. Oh, we got, see this is the thing about like, trying to film wildlife. The second you think, oh, I can zoom in on that, they go away. But yeah, so this, like I said, the shed here stays quite warm and it holds a bit of the heat for them. I think they quite like it warm. And there we go, so find a good location in your garden, a nice sunny location that gets some most of the day. Whack up a... Whack up a... Um, sorry, it's caught a wasp flying into the roof of my shed. Whack up a um, bee hotel and see what you get. I said one of the previous videos, these two here, this one there and that one there are from a previous house that I lived, I actually bought them with me when I moved. And the other three are newer, bought this year. But I've had them for like two seasons or two years now, and they sort of every year they bring something back. They do say you should replace them every so often. But my worries are like, what do I, with the bees that are in there, do I replace those? So I just sort of get new ones, really. But I've just seen a wasp fly into a little crevice up there of my shed. And I know it's really weird because most people hate this and don't want this, but I quite like the idea of a wasp nest being in the shed. I think that'd be cool. Obviously, then I have to be careful with the kids, keeping them away from it, etc. 
but I quite like the idea of seeing them because I've seen the wasps from there, they're amazing little designs. And I've seen how wasps make them as well. I watched a wasp uh, only last year stripping wood from um, a fence to make their nest. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll get a wasp nest. I'll be able to film that for you at some point. Um, I've got to be careful with the bees though because my ever suffering girlfriend is actually allergic to the stings. She's not very good with them. So I'll see, I'll warn her that this is going on out here at the minute and then she'll have a go at me again for naturing up her garden. But she secretly loves it, I know she does. She'll never admit it, but she does. I hope. But anyway guys, little mini wild times for you here. Bees. And another little reason why to do something. Go ahead, get yourself a bee thing and watch this happen. I mean, I'm standing right next to it. I mean, I'll tell you what, I'll show you how close I am to it. There you go, so look, I'm not far away at all. I've got the bees buzzing around my head. I'm staying very still. Letting them do their thing. All they want to do is they want to do their thing. They're letting me do my thing. And there we go. I mean, I can actually touch the houses. There you go. That's how close I am to it. So anyway, guys, you've got lovely bees, haven't you? We need them to help them. Help, give them a little helping hand. It's all good. A little trail water in the garden as well. If you haven't got a pond, put a little trail water down, put some stones in the tray, and they'll come down, they'll drink off that. Always good, so they need to keep hydrated too. Obviously, I've got the pond, I've got the stones in the pond, I often see bees coming down there. Anyway, keep the bees good, keep happy, and see you soon. Bye! Ooh. I've literally just said I'd quite like to see a wasp nest appear in the shed. And hey presto, there is a small wasp nest appearing in the shed. Well, my wonders never cease. Uh, I've added this to the edge of the end of the bee video because I actually spoke about it, about seeing it. And there we go. So I'm trying to disturb it. Wow. Obviously, if it does get too big, I may have to um, do something about it. But for now, I'm just going to leave it. Obviously, I have to warn the kids, warn Laura that we've got to wash this in here to make sure they're sort of a bit more careful when they come in the shed, less thingy. But yeah, here we go. Wash nest in the shed. I kind of want it close, but I'm scared the wash is going to come back. I don't want to upset it and stop it from. Wow, look at that, you can see what it's trying to build the chambers for the eggs. How intricate is that? It's all done with like wood. In fact, I do believe they are eggs in there. Wow. Sorry about the shaky hands, I'm kind of a really awkward angle in the shed trying to get this video. Well, there you have it, guys. A wasp nest in the shed. Just where my finger? Just there. See, I've now got to explain this to Laura that we've got a wasp nest in the shed, and I want to keep it. That's not going to go down well. But there he is. Little wasp building his nest. Got the eggs in it. We just saw. Fantastic. I'm happy. She ain't going to be happy. I'm happy, and we're going to see how that develops. Obviously, I'll take a few more pictures if it does get too big or it gets a bit dodgy for the kids I might have to do something about it just for the safety side of things I don't want to do anything about it but I might have to see the kids come in here all the time because all their bikes are in here all the stuff they play with is in here and I really want them to enjoy stuff and I don't want to sort of like say to them oh you can't come in here now because we've got the wasps in here it's not really fair but fingers crossed that the two won't be an issue for each other. And I think they'll they'll enjoy that. I know it won't say, sorry, I'm not really at this whole pointing out where it is, because it's mirrored, but anyway, and they'll enjoy that. No, it's there. What's up looking at it? Anyway, I'll have a quick little look at it with you, and then we'll head out.
Well done, Mr. Wasp, or Miss, Mrs. Wasp. Doing a very good job there. I see, a couple of years ago, I actually saw a wasp getting the wood for this, and what they do is they actually chew and roll it up into strips and then carry it off. So they like cut a little strip of wood out of a fence or a post or a door. And they'll like carve this little sliver of wood out and roll it into a ball and then bring it here and they'll paste it back onto the nest. See what she's doing now. That is stunning. A lot of people don't like wasps, but I've, I've kind of got a love of them as well. I am really weird, but I just love it. Anyway guys, see you later. Talk to you soon, stay wild, and I'll do this soon. Bye.